And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. My friends on the panel have blindfolds for this particular part of the program. Are they all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in the entertainment world? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yuppie. Uh, you're a fellow. What? You're a fellow. A chap. Yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, have you ever appeared on television before? Carpets. Carpets. Hmm? I, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. We're having a conference, Dorothy. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're more famous for something other than television. Is that correct? Oh, no. One down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Is that your regular voice, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought if it was, I know it's Edgar Bergen. I mean, I... I... <laughs> that isn't your regular voice. Are you in the, in the motion pictures? Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Portland, it uh, couldn't come, and I can't come either, and... Uh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Two down to make the Goldman Presley. Well, it can't be Fred Allen, because he's right next to me. I'm not so... I don't know where I am. I have a thing on my eyes here. I, I may be over there. Uh, so that you are better known, perhaps, for uh, television than you are in the picture world, correct? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you do a regular show on television? Oh, yeah, yep. Does that mean every day you do a show on television? No. Well, now, wait, when you mean every day, you mean the... I mean five, five days a week, five Monday days through a Friday. Week. There are seven days. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you do do a show five days a week. Do do, yeah, do. You do do. do. <laughs> would, you be, would you be considered a comedian? Oh, uh, when they laugh, yep. Well, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very good answer, actually, Miss Harley. Are you a man of many voices? A uh, carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, would your uh, program possibly have uh, more appeal for the children of the family than their parents? Or is it aimed at them, what I, I should say? Maybe Good the evening, parents ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 I would think yes to that, Ben. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think... One of my sons, or both of them, have, have had an opportunity to appear with you, if I'm not mistaken. Have you got a gallery for a very young... Oh, oh, we're dead, Buffalo Bob! <laughs> 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 Well, the panel's hotter than 15 pistols tonight. Let's see what they can do with a final challenger. Would you come in and sign in, please, ma'am? Rosanna. Raymond, is that right? That's right. How are you? Is it uh, Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. 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 Roman. Well, now, will you take a look at the panel? We're a little short of time, so you won't have to take that long hike. You just look at them, let them look at you, then you come with me, will you? Sit down right here, if you will, and we'll give the panel the one free guest they've got coming to them. We'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she works for an airline. Works for an airline. Mr. Allen. I think that she's a popsicle inspector for the Good Humor Company. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. 
I think she plays a musical instrument. Mr. Sir. I think Miss Rummond wrote that song, Rummond Coca-Cola. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mrs. Rosanna Rummond. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is, but the panel's going to have to dig. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Miss Rummond uh, is salaried. You know how we score this thing, don't you? Fine. We'll begin the general questioning then with Bennett, sir. Miss Rummond, did I detect just the merest hint of a foreign accent in your voice? No. One down, nine to go, Miss Gilgallon. I mean, Bennett may have detected it, but it wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there a product involved in what you do? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. Uh, do you deal in services? Yes. Uh, that's fine. I had that one question left over from my other time. <laughs> do you, uh, do you work for a uh, profit organization? Yes. You do? Do you uh, work, uh, uh, do you, uh, whatever you do, do you deal with both sexes? Yes. The, these questions work on the other one, too, don't they? <laughs> Except that they uh, mix me up toward the end. Do you, uh, do you have, uh, do you work in uh, indoors? Sometimes. Sometimes. You work out of doors sometimes. You're in and out is, uh, is that sort of a job, huh? Do you, uh, uh, when you deal with people, these services, do you put your hands on them? No. Three yeah. down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Uh, did you uh, already ascertain whether it was a profit-making organization? Yes, it is. It is profit uh, Do you wear anything other than what you have on now in your job? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Raman, uh, are you in any way connected with the entertainment industry? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you make life better or happier for these people? <laughs> yes, I would say some of the people would be made happier. Some of the others might not feel as good about it. I see. Then is there any decision that Mrs. Rummond makes that might make people unhappy in Sometimes. the course of her service? Mm -hmm. Are any documents or papers involved in what you do? Yes. But you work for a profit-making organization. That's right. Do bills have anything to do with it? Yes. Uh, well, do you try to get people to pay their bills? Yes. Are you a bill collector? That's yes! Right. <laughs> That's remarkable. By golly. We thought we'd have you for sure on that one. I was sitting here convinced we had you, too. You still nice had choice. me, even though it's answered. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Miss Rummond, you did pretty well, though. We had them going for a while. We hope you enjoyed your visit and had fun, because actually that's more than, I think, the number of cards we took. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for coming, and I hope you had a good visit on television. Thank good you. to see you. Thank, thank you, and good night. And now, until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Dorothy. And good night, Freddie. It was awfully nice having you with us. Thank you, Dorothy. Good night, Steve. And good night, <laughs> Arlene. Good night, Fred. And good night, Bennett. Drive carefully, John. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and again, thanks, Fred, for being with us. We've had a wonderful visit with you. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What My Line. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. In association with the CBS Television Network.